Greetings from Thorntown from the N9IZQTH. I'm here this uh, afternoon with an FTDX560. It's an early 70s Yaesu transceiver. I'd like to sell this transceiver and I'm going to take it through a little bit of rundown. Uh, first a little bit of, uh, of basics. Uh, it is a transceiver from the early 70s. Uh, it's all tube and uh, this particular one uh, has been in storage for quite some time. It's, uh, it is working, it receives very well, and it is transmitting on most bands at anywhere from 40-50 watts up through almost 200 watts. Uh, I'll be testing this out on uh, numerous bands so that it'll be possible to, uh, to see what it can actually do. Um, there was a question earlier on if it would transmit on 10 meters at all, and uh, it does transmit on 10 meters, but at a very, um, very low level uh, so far from what I can tell. Uh, 40, 80, 20, uh, 15 all seem to be fine. Uh, could have uh, any number of issues from uh, bias level, uh, tubes, uh, uses about 20 some tubes. Uh, so it's entirely possible that uh, that might be part of the problem is uh, tube related. So I'm going to pause the video and I will turn it on to receive and we'll We'll uh, check around through some of the uh, various uh, bands and see what we can hear. Okay, so here we are on the 80 meter band. I'm listening on a 40 meter dipole right now, so all of the received tests will be done on this 40 meter dipole. Uh, that's the best antenna I have at the moment. I can hear a couple signals right now, and it doesn't sound too bad. We'll tune across the band a little bit. Not bad for 80 meters on a 40 meter antenna. Yeah, okay, yeah, sounds good. Have a good one. 
Stations right next to each other here. see what we've got on 20 meters. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do much better than that uh, given the conditions here locally. All right, so there's some audio from 80, 40, and 20 meters on the 40 meter dipole. Uh, let's do some testing. I'll uh, aim the camera over at the um, computer screen. The computer will show the output of the radio. Uh, again, I'm having some issues with the uh, bias level. I, I try to set it and it, I'm not getting anything uh, there, so I don't know if that's metering circuit or in the bias pot. Uh, but I can tune it up, and I, I can get power out on uh, at least 80 and 40 uh, looks pretty good. 20 looks pretty good. Uh, 10, I was only able to get 40 out. So let me tune it up here into the dummy load. I've got a bird uh, dummy load. Let me turn it up a couple times, and you'll be able to see the output uh, on the computer screen. I'll have it uh, set up there to uh, easy to monitor. Uh, so I'll pause the video, and we'll go from there.
Okay, so you can see right here that I'm making a fair amount of power. Um, just letting the transmitter cool down a little bit. We're on 80 meters and uh, keyed on CW. Alright, I saw 187 watts right there. Still not making the full amount of drive. Um, adjusting the carrier level and uh, still not getting the, the peak amount. It's, it's a little bit, uh, wavers a little bit, but uh, definitely getting a fair amount of power. Uh, PAs are fairly hot. Uh, Let me switch it to uh, lower sideband here. We'll adjust it a little bit, see if we can get any, any power out. This is November 9, India Zulu. November 9, India Zulu. Norway 9, Italy Zulu testing. This is November 9, India Zulu testing into the dummy load. Test, test, test. November 9, India Zulu testing into the dummy load. Uh, so there you see. Uh, 200 watts out, uh, turn the mic gain uh, nearly fully up at any rate. Uh, mic gain is up and uh, we got some power out, about 200 watts right there. So there's a quick tune-up on 40 meters. I uh, haven't done anything other than uh, just dip the plate and uh, peak the load and uh, set the pre-selector. Might be able to adjust uh, the drive level a little bit higher. We'll see. Alright, that's enough time. I uh, don't want to go too long. Uh, like I said, we are transmitting into a dummy load, but uh, finals do get fairly hot. A pair of six KD6s, uh, the PA on this radio. So uh, You can see a fair amount of power, uh, close to 200 watts uh, coming out right there. Let me switch to lower sideband and uh, we'll fiddle around with it, see if I can't get any uh, audio out on, uh, on sideband. November 9, India Zulu. This is Norway 9, Italy Zulu, testing. November 9, India Zulu, testing into the dummy load. Uh, we're going to turn up the power here a little bit, and uh, there we can see a fair amount of power coming out, 227 watts, and uh, testing into the dummy load, like I said, uh, lower side band, 40 meters.
Alright, I think I saw a maximum of about 190 watts uh, right there doing tune-up, um, giving it a break. Uh, we're on 20 meters right now, and uh, again, close to 200 watts output, uh, playing around with the carrier level a little bit, and we'll switch to upper side band, mess around with the carrier and see what we can get. November 9, India Zulu. This is November 9, India Zulu. Testing, uh, testing, there we go. Uh, we're getting good power output now. Norway 9, Italy Zulu. Testing into the dummy load. Uh, here we're seeing a uh, uh, low level at the moment. Uh, adjusted up a little bit, and uh, there we're easy, 200 watts. No problem on voice peaks, uh, 200 watts out. 20 meters into the dummy load. Alright, so uh, we're back again here and we're listening on 40 meters. At this point, uh, we're actually listening above 40 meters. We're actually in a, listening to uh, Air Force Mars. Um, this radio seems to hear just fine, uh, even up above the 40 meter band, uh, as well as in it. I just happened to come across this and it was interesting listening to people talk, but it uh, sounds pretty clear. Very good. Um, I appreciate you being at stopping by this morning. It's good to hear you again. Uh, anything further? Uh, nothing further. Thank you. Six Michael Paul, six Echo Alpha, over. All right. Well, I'm going to close this video right now. This has been a basic video, uh, not very in depth, and for the most part, for the purposes of a uh, showing that this radio does work and uh, does transmit, does receive on multiple bands um, in case anyone is interested in purchasing it. Uh, it's not really authoritative or an overall uh, view. So I hope you like it and at least found a little bit of history interesting on this uh, early pre-FT-101 uh, Yesu radio, all tube, like I said, all tube, 20-some tubes, and uh, all analog. Sounds good and uh, does appear to work. But it's a, it is a project radio a uh, little bit. It's not, not fully operational. Thanks for watching this video.